Good morning, brothers. Welcome to the Brown Bag Gentlemen. Today's shave is going to be a full shave. The, this is 17 days of growth of beard, so just over two weeks, a few days over two weeks. Um, yeah, and I've got three days of growth on the cheeks and the neck, so that's got to, you know, we're going to do full shave. So I'm not going to shave this off with a razor. I know I tried that once and it was a crash and burn. So I'm going to do basically the whole trimming thing. I'm going to, you know, do that. So I guess you could watch me do that too. I mean, why, why not? We'll, we'll do the full thing. I, I think I, last time we did, I didn't do that part on video, I don't think. So we're going to do that on video. So I'm going to put glasses on and the glasses are not to help me see better in this case. The glasses that need to be washed, so pause while I wash my glasses. Okay, guys, I am back. Clean my glasses so I can see out of them now. <laughs> so the glasses, yeah, these are reading glasses, so I really don't need them, you know, for shaving this far from the mirror and everything else. There we go. Uh, but basically the lines, the lines are going to help me trim that up. So let me get my pottery bowl here. Oh, I got stuff popping up. There we go. It's out of my way. Okay, there we go. So I got my... Our goal. So I'm going to just guard is off. We're going to, and I'm not going to leave a little bit else. So I'm just going to go full up to the, to the to there, all the way up. Good enough. Hmm, like that. And this is just nothing fancy, you know. But I didn't want to have to do this with a with a like an open comb or anything. I just didn't want to have to do that and have skipping and stuff. I just want to enjoy my shave, so yeah, you don't get to see me shave this off with a razor. <laughs> okay, so There, put that aside, put it down, there we go, don't need those anymore. So it's basically off, and then, so right now it's all scraggy. So this part is three days growth, this feels longer, so this is probably four or five days down, knocked down to, so. And I didn't do the, you know, I, some of it's longer, I didn't get that meticulous with it because yeah, I'm gonna shave with a razor. Now the razor, you've seen before, but we have new base plate. So we're gonna use my car, but I'm not gonna use that open comb head, you which you think I'd use because I just shaved my whiskers off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take basically I'm taking that handle off, take the base plate off, putting a Gillette silver blue that I've already used oh, about three times on there. And the new base plate is a solid bar. And I ordered the wrong color, I got the stainless steel. So this the carve is the E plate. So I had the D plate open cone open comb. This is the DE plate rather, that's closed comb. So, and it's, it's seen this deal and I thought about saying it back at the brass, but nah, I'll keep it. It's different. I know that it's the E plate. It's different than everything else. Okay, I got it. Looking looks good. So yeah, so yeah, a little contrast. Kind of digging it, kind of, kind of liking it, yeah. It'll work. So that's what we're gonna use today for, for this shave. So I have not washed my face, you can tell. I have not whipped up the soap. So I got a couple more minutes worth of work to do first. So I'm going to pause you and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. You had a little bit of water on the wool shirt today. I got the Yellow Bean River Driver shirt on. I'm going to be working outside a little bit, chopping some wood, whatever, for a fire later and what have you. Uh, so I'll be doing that later. But today's soap, you know, it's probably my last use of the year for this soap. The Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Lump of Coal. And say it's container there. I gotta wipe that off. I'm done. So I'll I'll rinse it all off and let it air dry for a few days. On that, and I'll put the cap on it and put it away till next year. That's what I like to do. <laughs> so we're gonna put that on. Now I will tell you that I have some shaves. I got two shave sticks, and I'm probably gonna get another shave stick. We're gonna order that probably today, so it'll be in, you know, go to Amazon, I'll have it in a few days. <laughs> to 
Today is Christmas Eve. It's the 24th of December. So Merry Christmas one and all. Now let's talk about that for a minute. I tell you Merry Christmas, but I know some of you, you know, some of you viewers are around the world and are not necessarily Christians. So when I say Merry Christmas to you, I am giving you my heartfelt greetings for the joy of the holiday that I, that, that I celebrate. You may have a different celebration, so you can worship me well in that as well. So this is not to say that I am going to poo-poo you or anything else, or that I am, you know, feeling high and mighty. No, absolutely not. As a Christian, I can't feel high and mighty. <laughs> uh, but I want you to know that you're always welcome in this channel, and and I appreciate you watching me and, and enjoying just enjoying the shaving. That's I hope that I that's what I exude. That I exude the enjoyment that I have in trying different things and just enjoying the equipment I do already have. I am thankful for the equipment I have. I'm thankful for my very first raise with Edwin Jagger. It's like that's what's still my rotation. I enjoy that. But with, with, without further ado, let's try this E plate, that stainless steel E plate on this brass razor. Yeah, a little bit of whipped cream or shaved cream rather on the, just the top rim of the shirt. That's what happens when you have to put your shirt on to, to, to style your hair. <laughs> you gotta go with it. Alrighty. So far, really enjoying the smoothness of this, just taking this layer off. I mean, it's knocking it down good and it's smooth. I am very impressed with this E-plate. I am very impressed. We'll see how the rest of the shave goes, but I'm already thinking F plate. <laughs> I think D is as high as I want to go with an open comb. I'm kind of happy there. This is being very smooth. And of course, the way the brass helps with some of that. Hmm. Very impressed with that. So smooth in that coming down. Now let's see how it, how it feels for the rest of the shave. But right now, that first knocking down that, you know, after removing the beard and having no three days on the cheeks and you know whatever, down to like a, probably about a five days worth on the face, it just pulled that down good. Very, very pleased with how comfortable that was. My original razor head for bringing down beards was the West Coast Shavings Open Comb, the house brand one. So it was very inexpensive. It's like less than $10 for just the head if you already have a handle. But very aggressive, very, you know, you, you felt that. It's, it wasn't, it's just, when it was not particularly smooth, very aggressive but it was so I could knock down whiskers if I wanted to and all that. So it did its job, but something to be said for a comfortable razor. I enjoy comfortable razors. That's what I enjoy. And comfort at my level, because everybody's got their own different levels. And mine's slightly above, you know, my, I'm on the higher end of mild to medium. That's just where I kind of fall in. All right, pass two across the grain. Okay, it's not biting me there. Then again, see, this blade is not a new blade, too, so that kind of helps, too. A new blades of any brand, well, if they're going to get you, that's when they're going to get you their first use. Okay. Trying to go real light and gingerly here. Sense of area for me. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Knock that down well. I'm trying to go light. Yes, I lightened up during the shave. I lightened up just a tick more too on my neck. Okay, definitely a three pass shave, but I like a three pass shave. I'm not on a quest for a two pass shave. I'm just not. I don't need a, a razor that's that aggressive that it's done in two. Nice. Huh? 
pitching me off. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling still. Yeah, I still want to go up a little bit on that. Corner of the mouth. Let's see if I can do it without cutting myself. Okay, very light. Let's see, you got weight of the razor. See, just I just lighten it right up my you know pressure. Just don't doesn't really need it at all. That's why I like steel and brass. I like the heavier razor side. So not looking forward to titanium. I just you know, I, I want the weight. I like the weight, the, you know, the, handling the weight. I've used like aluminum razors. I don't appreciate them. I just don't. To me, they're a little draggish and all that. Because they just don't have the weight to carry them through on the blade, you know, for slicing. I just, I don't care for them. For my shaving, I just don't care for them. I might try the Henson, the more aggressive one, if Father Craig lends me that. But don't really have any plans of buying one. I've had, say, I've owned aluminum razors and I've gotten rid of them. I have one, I do have one razor still. That's a little bit in my, it's basically it's in my rotation, but my rotation has got a lot of razors in it. So, <laughs> so it'd, be, it'd probably be another month or so before I get to it. But that that adjustable Parker is plastic and aluminum basically. Uh, but so it's still in there, I'm still, cause it's something different. So that's, yeah, I like that because it is different, but we'll see, time will tell us if I still continue to enjoy it or not, we'll see. All right, so I'm all lathered up for pass. Oops, I did get myself with it. I thought I felt my nicking that on that very first pass, and sure enough. All right, here we go. Pass three, against the grain. That is smooth. Oh, that's smooth. Oh, yes, nice, nice. Uh, I did not mean to soap here, but I did. What happens when you're out of practice for shaving under your lip? Huh. And that's not even on my scar. <laughs> so I'm not sure how I did that, but I did it. All right. <laughs> Just a light touch. Two, three. Light, light touch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe a little bit right there. Stretch it out. Yep, there we go. Okay, got it. Yep, corners of the mouth. Right there. There we go. All right. Oh, smooth. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The soap is good as usual. Yeah, any other stragglers? No, don't notice any. Oh, right there. The top right there, jawline. There we go. Got it. Nope, oh, right there, too. Yeah, there we go. That was it. All righty. So that did that. So let me clean everything up and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've cleaned off my equipment. Oops, I'm going to differently rinse off my razor yet. Sorry. There we go. Rinse it off a little bit. Here we go. So the Carve. Christopher Bradley Carve Razor. Brass razor with a stainless steel E base plate. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed that. That is smooth and comfortable. I like that. I really did. That was a nice, nice shave. And see, I've rinsed off with the warm water in my washcloth. So now let's splash on some cold water so I can put on the Allen block. So let me, I just let it ran for a second. So let me go ahead and splash out on a couple splashes. I'll be right back. All righty. All 
Alrighty, so turn that off. Of course, soaking wet face. Okay, here on the chin where I got a little bit of a neck. Now, it's actually, I was thinking about it. Yeah, it was, it was past two where I knew myself, not past one. Smooth, close, comfortable shave. Really liking that shave. Really liking that. I can see why Chris from Another Cut Above always liked that razor. He always he always mentioned that. I know he's not putting out videos anymore, at least right now. But yeah, but he was really the one who really showed us all that car razor. So that felt good. Let me just pat that dry a little bit. There we go. And now after shave of the day, the nods, Whiskey Woods. I'm on a Panade's theme because I say I just did a video too for for using pomades. I put a little Panade's with a little tray fluoresce there at the base. So watch that video if you're interested. Watch, oh, watch the day. This, yeah, I'm not sure if I ever showed you that. That's my latest watch. Well, let me take it off, show it to you. This watch is my anniversary watch my wife got me. It's a Citizen, it's a moon face. See the moon face on the bottom there? And it's big enough too where I can see it. <laughs> so I liked. But that's been adjusted finally. It took me a few weeks to get adjusted just, just right, but yeah, any watch. So that's that, and here we go. Now, of course, tomorrow being Christmas, and yes, I've got a few shaving goodies, so I'll probably do like a, well, a pseudo unboxing, basically, what, what did I get for Christmas for, for shaving products? I'll probably do that. I'll introduce the, my surprise razor that I'm getting for Christmas. So I'll show you that. I, you won't see me shave with it yet because I want to give it a week's trial first before I show it to you. Just to see, what, especially that kind of cash, I don't want to give you just an intro and say, oh, it's wonderful and great. And I'm like, yeah, because it's new. Yeah. Let's give it a week. Let's try it first. And then I'll tell you my thoughts on it after a week's use of it. And this week I'll probably shave more because I'm on vacation this week. I am home. I mean, I'm home. Every, I work from home. So, but, but I'm not, not working this week. <laughs> so I probably will shave every day and really give it a workout. So we'll see how that goes. So until then, guys, Merry Christmas and go with God.